Director, uh, did you make the decision not to recommend criminal charges relating to classified information before or after Hillary Clinton was interviewed by the FBI on July the 2nd? After. All I can do is tell you again, the decision was made after that because I didn't know what was going to happen in that interview. Congressman Ratcliffe, what's your thought on that exchange now that you've seen these text messages? Well, I don't think that former Director Comey could have been more clear that the decision wasn't made until after that July 2nd interview, and that's the way that it, that it should have been. But uh, as you just said, those text messages that we saw earlier today indicate that Lisa Page, uh, Peter Strzok, and Loretta Lynch all apparently knew on the 1st of July that Hillary Clinton wasn't going to be charged. That's incoming president. We learned today about information that after, in the immediate aftermath of his election, that there may have been a secret society of folks within the Department of Justice and the FBI to include Page and Strzok that would be working against him. I'm not saying that actually happened, but when folks speak in those terms, uh, they need to come forward to explain the context with which they use those terms. Uh, Congressman Gowdy, do you want to expound on the secret society idea? Sure, I wish I could. I wish I'd been the one who either set th sent that text or received it. You have this insurance policy in the spring of 2016, and then the day after the election, the day after what they really, really didn't want to have happen, there's a text exchange between these two FBI agents, these two supposed to be objective, fact-centric FBI agents saying, perhaps this is the first meeting of the secret society. So, of course, I'm going to want to know what secret society are you talking about, because you're supposed to to be investigating objectively the person who just won the Electoral Absolutely. College. So, yeah, I'm going to want to know. Con Congressman Gowdy, you know, in terms of that glitch uh, of the missing text messages, those months, are you going to subpoena the phone companies to get those text messages? You know, Martha, Congress is not great at using legal process like subpoenas and search warrants. Of course, we want that. I hope Mike Horowitz, the inspector general, got them. Unfortunately, the way our government's set up, law enforcement is better able to go to communications carriers and get text and instant messages than Congress is. So, yes, I want them, but I don't want them two years from now, and I don't want them after a, a, a motion to... to to be held in contempt of Congress, I want them sooner rather than later. So either the Bureau needs to find them or we need to, we need to have someone who has uh, really easy access to these text messages.